Welcome everyone. Limited liability companies. And limited liability companies, we talk about that mainly the limited companies are the organizations, they have uh, organization have limited liability and incorporated status. So they have separate legal identity from its members. We talk about the limited company features, don't have the liability and uh, the business uh, raise capital by selling shares in the limited companies. Normally, private limited companies, they can sell shares among, among uh, family members and friends. But in public listed company, they can uh, raise the capital by selling shares in the stock exchange. Uh, and third feature we talk about shareholders elect dire directors to run the company. They elect the uh, directors to run the business organization. So headed by a chairperson and they're accountable to shareholders. The shareholder, share, chairperson should run the company uh, with the uh, help of the director board. And we are a sole traders and partnership. They pay income tax. We are companies pay corporation tax and profits. Uh, form of to form a limited company necessary to follow legal procedures. We talk about that in formation part. Uh, formation part, you have to register your company uh, before a limited company can be formed. You have to register it. So registration uh, after registration, you are getting obtaining a certificate of incorporation. It's a document it before the company can start doing business. Certificate of incorporation. Uh, and this is given by the company registrar, right? After uh, satisfaction of the information. So this certificate of information incorporation, you know, to obtain that the key document, two documents are important. Those we call MOA and AOA, Memorandum of Association and the Articles of Association. So we go through sample in my previous session about the Articles of Association I defined, and I'll I go through some kind of a fun sample Articles of Association. Here you can see the name of the company, name of the address, right? Objective of the company, amount of capital, everything's there under memorandum. It's actually, this is set out to constitution of and gives the details about the company. Uh, that's a memorandum association. Articles association is a document. This document deals with the internal running of the company. Internal running of the company is the articles of association. Sometimes in MCQ questions, they can come, what is the articles of association? And what are the contents coming under it? And MOA, what is MOA? It's a constitution and gives details about the company. Uh, and what are the information comes on the MOA? And we talk about private limited company. It's at the end of the name. They have a limited at the end, and shares can be transferred privately. And uh, this owned by family members, no usually, and close friends. Directors are uh, these uh, firms actually tend to be the shareholders and involved in the running of the business. Whereas PLC, we can't see that situation. Directors of the business are normally uh, uh, not shareholders in most of them. They are non-executive directors are there in the PLC's level. The private limited company definition uh, in the UK, a private limited co company limited by shares, which means the ability of the shareholders is credited, creditors of the companies limited to the capital originally invested, which means uh, it's a private limited company, it's a limited liable company, which has uh, which is owned by friends and family members. And we talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Main advantage of private limited companies, there are five advantages. Uh, limited liability, more capital can raise, control cannot be lost to outsiders. Continuation is there, even shareholder dies. That's called incorporate status, has more status. And uh, disadvantage of private limited company, also we discussed the six disadvantages. Financial information has to be made public, cost money and takes time to set up. Profits has to be shared between members as dividends and take time to transfer shares uh, and also cannot trace huge amount like the PLCs. Okay, but today my main focus is the PLC, public listed company, right? Before we go to public listed company, we'll do this case study also, um, Khan Sugar Mills. Khan Sugar Mills, uh, you can see these are owned by the Khan brothers, own and run their sugar mill near the Multan in Pakistan. Khan Sugar Mills Listed uh, Limited was first opened in 1984 when the business was set up. However, it was upgraded and modernized in 2001 after the brother obtained some funding from a Karachi-based venture capitalist farm went. So they have a, uh, they bought a venture capital investment also from farm went from Karachi and then upgraded plant now has a sugar cane processing capacity of about 12,000 tons per day about 12,000 tons per day they are producing their sugar cane capacity. Um, and then business employs more than 350 people in the mill, more than 350 people in the mill and the family business operates as a private limited company and made a profit of 543.5 million in 2015. And the three brothers 
owned the major majority of the business. But in 2001, Farm went, the venture capitalist company took a stake in exchange for their funding. Some of the senior managers also own a small stake. In this case, the figure 4.3 shows the stakes of the each and every shareholder in Khan Sugar Mills. You can see here uh, the 25% of the company owned by Abdul Khan and another 25% the blue color owned by Moshin Khan and orange color you can see another 25% owned by the Nabil Khan. Three brothers you can see Abdul, Moshin and Nabil 25, 25, 20, 75% stake owned by them and 20% owned by Farmwind. Uh, recently uh, they are invested some in venture capitalist company in Karachi, Farmwind. Uh, 20% stake they own and then 5% of the company owned by senior managers. Okay, they're asking a few questions. Name the document needed to set up a limited company. What is the document need to set up a limited company? I'm asking this question openly. Anyone can answer. You can raise your hand if you know the documents. Name the documents, not one document. There are documents, two documents we talk about. What are the two documents? Gianna, can you ask? Answer. Short and form also you can tell. There are main two documents, right? You talk about MOA and AOA. Remember, Memorandum of Association and the Articles of Association. Those are the two documents. Yes. Yeah, correct. AOA and MOA. Uh, short and form answer is given. So MOA and AOA are two documents need to set up a limited liability company. Yes. Number two, you can see who controls the corn sugar mills? Who controls? By looking at this uh, presentation, only you can see who control is who had the controlling power, right? By looking at this thing, you can say the Khan brothers has the controlling controlling power because majority stake owned by the family. So family has the controlling power. Three brothers, yes, so 25, 25, 25, 75 percent. Uh, you can see three fourth of the uh, business owned by them, right? And the, uh, that's the answer. Three brothers, namely uh, Abdul, Moshin, and Nabil, seventy five percent stake they own. Uh, what are the advantages to Khan Sugar Mills of operating as a limited company? Provide two advantages in your know, analysis. So analyze two advantages, you know. Here, uh, limited liability company, because of the limited liability company, they, they will get a, the liability will be limited up to the investment. So in case business bankrupt, they will not lose any amount of uh, personal belongings other than their investment. As a result, they will be encouraged to stay in the business mm -hmm. and uh, doing the business alone because of the that advantage. And also, uh, we have more, you can see another advantage from uh, conducting the private limited companies, the status, the more capital can be raised uh, by selling shares. Like I see here, the bench farm went, they attracted the venture capitalists also into their business because it's a limited company. In return, we can give some stake for them uh, in returns. So they can attract new investors. So it's easy to raise money by selling shares uh, for the business. And also we have more status. In this case study, you can see the, the business is owned by them. In 1984, they started. So you can see unlimited, uh, the limited liability status because 1984 business. And then uh, it's owned by the father, so family. The most important thing is the control cannot be lost to outsiders because the ownership is retained with the family. So with three brothers, so ownership cannot lost to outsiders because the shares cannot be bought and sold privately. Uh, publicly, you can't uh, buy and sell through the share market because it's a private limited company. That's right. This main two advantages. Control cannot be lost to outsiders and more capital can be raised. And also, you can see limited liability status. These are the things with the application you have to explain, right? Okay, the topic of the day, I'm going to discuss about the <clears throat> public limited company. So public limited PLCs, public limited companies are tend to be the larger than the private limited companies. So these shares can be bought and sold by public on the stock exchange, right? So any person or organization that can be buy shares in the PLC, anyone above 18, they can buy shares in the PLCs. Okay, what is a PLC? What is a public limited company? You can write down the definition here, the public limited company definition, public limited companies, write down the definition, please. The definition is uh, a limited company, a limited company whose shares are freely sold and traded. A limited company whose shares are freely sold and traded in stock exchange. In a stock exchange. So usually you can see that's the definition of a PLC level. In the UK, you can see the definition given by the uh, textbook. 
a UK a limited company whose shares are freely sold and traded with a minimum share capital of 50,000 pounds. Minimum share capital of 50,000 pounds and the letter PLC after its name. PLC, other countries have a similar arrangements with different letters after the company name. For example, German, uh, they call it AG, other PLC. Czech Republic, they call it AS. Italy, they call it SPA. And in Spanish, they call it Spanish. Uh, in French, Polish, Greek, uh, uh, Romanian, they call it SA. Right, uh, so say like you know, there are country different terms they're using, but normally we're using PLC to stand for, for PLC public limited company. Some people call public listed company, right? So now we'll see when you're going public. This is the uh, for PLCs you can see in uh, Colombo Stock Exchange. I would go, like to go to Colombo Stock Exchange right now. This is a, a Sri Lankan stock exchange, Colombo Stock Exchange. They have listed companies. Uh, Sri Lanka, we are trading with the listed companies, PLCs, 287 companies. Columbus Stock Exchange has 287 companies pres present in 19 sectors, industry groups. This is the situation of 31st August 2021. 31st August, like one month ago, this is the situation, 287 companies. So like that, A to, A to Z, we can see the list goes like that. So these are the, all the companies start with B. You can see the... <laughs> The B companies you can find out all that's the BP holding, uh, by Raha Farms, uh, Balangoda Plantations PLC, right? Bansal Royal Resort Hikkadua, Bansi Royal and Bayruala Resorts, so hotel sector, Bayruala Walking PLC, Bimput Finance, Blue Diamond Jewelry, Worldwide PLC, PLC. You can see all these companies at the end of the name, they have a word letter called PLC, 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 PLC like that. You can see that's how uh, this uh, shares everything. Balang Browns Capital, Bukit Dara PLC, right? Like that. So uh, at the end of the name, they have a uh, name is there. For example, like that, you can check everything. So J, the letter J, all these are companies. This chart start with letter J. Jana Shakti Insurance, Jet Holdings, Jet Twing Symphony PLC, John Kills Holdings, John Kills Hotels PLC, John Kills PLC, like that. These are the uh, companies at the end. You can see PLC, PLC, PLC at the end. What does PLC stand for? Public listed companies, public limited companies. So um, like that. So every country there are limited com listed companies are there like that. PLC is like uh, if you go to America, you can see Amazon, uh, Microsoft, right? Tesla. These are the well famous companies in the USA uh, in, in, trading in New York Stock Exchange. So when you go in public, the formation of the PLC is not uh, simple. We have to adhere so much of regulation because listing in the stock exchange means there are certain regulations you have to follow. That's why they in the UK, they have to uh, have a minimum of 50,000 pounds capital, 50,000 capital, 50,000 pounds capital. Uh, in Sri Lankan terms, it's like a 100 million capital, 100 million Sri Lankan rupees as a minimum capital to enter. So like that, uh, country to country, it will be depend. Depend. If, for example, if you multiply the uh, 50 million, 50,000 by the Sri Lankan, the, from the convert to Sri Lankan rupees, is almost uh, 139 million, uh, 30, sorry, 13 million Sri Lankan rupees. So like that, so we need at least, uh, in order to uh, enter into the share market, we must have minimum capital, a little bit expensive. Uh, that's why all private limited companies can't enter into share market because they don't have this minimum capital requirement. So not only the minimum capital requirement, the other thing you must have a certain at least three years profitable track record to be qualified to entering into the stock exchange. If you're making losses, then you can't. You have to have a profitable uh, business track record at least for three years, consecutive years. Then only this condition, if you can satisfy, you can become a member of the Columbus Stock Exchange and you can get the PLC at the end. So, um, the PLC, before we that we call that process called going public. Or sometimes we call flotation. For flotation or going public. This is the process of company listing in the stock exchange. This is very expensive. Why? The company needs lawyers to ensure the prospectus is legally correct. That's a document you're learning new word today, prospectus. So what is the prospectus? It is uh, some kind of a document. Prospectus is a document produced by a company that wants the public to buy its shares, that wanted the public to buy its shares. So it's an invitation to buy. For example, if you go to stock exchange, I'll show you one prospectus of a company. 
you go to the Sri Lankan, one of the yogurt company called Lucky Lanka, uh, Lucky Lanka Milk Processing Company. So they uh, have recently, you know, they have listed a couple of years ago. Uh, if you go to their uh, financials and everything, you can find out their reports, other reports and everything, you can find out their prospectus here. Prospect, because in 2014, they have uh, issued uh, their shippers shares uh, initial public offer in 2014. This is the prospect as you can see a small booklet issued to the shareholders in the share market. Uh, it's a 147 page booklet. So they are showing their prospect. You can see Lucky Lanka Milk Processing Company Limited. At that time, there's a private limited company, it's not a PLC. So initial public offering, what is IPO, initial public offer? This is the first time they are going to issuing a shares to the public. We call initial public offer. So after uh, initial public offer, they can uh, issue shares to the public. Then only their name will be changing after Lucky Lanka PLC. So now they are now their new name is you can see uh, the name as Lucky Lanka Milk Processing Company PLC. Previous it was a limited company. Now PLC. Lucky Lanka milk person pieces. Now we can see what are the contents in the prospectus. It gives kind of a like a track record. They are previous who owns this company, what are the product, what are the products they produce, right? Their main vision, mission, and they are uh, you can see these are prospectors. So they uh, main ob objective is to collect shares, register, register company registration, right? Uh, copy should we go to company register also. Information you can see these are the contents under uh, here. Informations of the concerning issue, the company overview of the company, the company uh, background. They have a uh, stated capital, everything. The directors of the company and their qualifications, the human resource. Because this is the first time we are looking at a private company. Because we had to we had to introduce it properly to the shareholders, potential investors. Okay, this is our company. This is our corporate thing. This is our sector and everything. So you can see. We go there. This is the uh, company information, the company register user. You can see registered address, company registration number because it's a private limited company, also. Therefore, this is a birth, like a birth certificate number, certificate of incorporation. They have this number PB3006. So, date of incorporation. They incorporated in the, the act of number seven of 2007. On 15th of June 2007, they registered as a private limited company. So after seven years in 2014, they are listed in the Colombo stock exchange. That's why they, seven years, they are, their business actually survive as a private limited company. Then only they, it's a director's name, company secretary. Everything you can see uh, is the information. Uh, you can see from there. So moreover, you can see the prospectus has this information. Who has to prepare this is company lawyer. You can give this uh, opportunity to the company secretaries. They will be preparing the company lawyers, bankers, all the information they have given. So this information can be given to the issue at a glance. You can see the company they are issuing 38 million ordinary voting shares and 24 million ordinary non-voting shares. Voting and non -voting. There are two types of shares are there in a public uh, limited company. Voting shares, that if you have the voting shares only, you can get the power to the company. Like if you acquire more than 50% of the voting shares, you can be a chairman. Look at the issue price. They are issuing at six rupees per ordinary share, voting share and three rupees per the ordinary non-voting shares. So that means how much money they have collected from the share market. So minimum subscription, you can buy, you have to buy at least thousand ordinary voting shares, like thousand into 6,000 and thousand non-voting shares. So like the amount to be raised, they uh, like to raise 228 million capital uh, from the ordinary shares and 72 million from non-voting non shares. So altogether 300 million, they wanted to collect out of this uh, share issue. So this 300 million is not a bank loan. It's a permanent source of capital. And after you raise this capital, you don't need to pay back. You have to pay just dividends only. That's also if you have a profits only. So, and the amount, this is the thing. A subscription at a glance, so everything you have to give like that, and the uh, their information, the definitions, abbreviations, concerns, invitations. Uh, look at their <coughs> uh, other information, inspection. Look at the company, hmm? uh, the company important information. This is like a legal rejection of application. What's the process? Entire process refund. What happened? 
CDS uh, information. Okay, look at the company prospectus, the company profile, because you are, this is the first time you are going to invest in this kind of a company. So you have to know what are the informations are coming under this company, because it's a private limited company, it's never before happened in the share market. So you have to analyze what are the things they are given in the prospectus. You can see this is a company overview. So you can see the pictures, this is a milk processing company, you can see like UHT, uh, sterilizer you can see because it's yogurt and milk processing you must have this kind of like a, a state of art you know like you know machines and everything uh, hygiene conditions and everything how they process their milk uh, this uh, machines cost millions of money right and uh, that's why seven seven years ago they have started this private limited company company overview so they have a machinery and everything and they have apps and everything so hygiene is number one okay? workers are there human resource uh, technicians are there, right? You can see how they're processing this milk uh, and they, how they provide this you know, curd and the you know, yogurts and everything. So this is how, you know, organizations, they are giving company description about, first of all, introduction, who are they? And their vision, hmm? become the 2020 global lucky and then selling abroad mission. We are stepping towards a world of prosperity with lucky mission. So like that, so they have given information, so many information regarding the company profile, their product portfolio, you can see the type of product they are selling, different, different yogurt, strawberry flavor, vanilla flavor, uh, and then, you know, they have a uh, curd, uh, uh, different, different product portfolio. So I believe you have ever tried this thing, uh, curd pot, uh, milk toffee, so many. And the financial overview, last three years, they are financial strength, the company net asset, their revenue, net profit, you can see net profit increase 4 million, 17 million, 20 million like that. Net profit has increased tremendously in the last three years. GP margins, charts, everything they have given. Stated capital they have given. Who owns the capital? Mr. Mr. Lal Gunawadana is the main shareholder, chairman of the company. And then other, it's a family owned business. We can find out all starting in the Gunawadana, Gunawadana, Gunawadana. It's a family owned business like Khan Brothers. Like that is owned by family business. Now they are going to share market. Now they're issuing these shares and they wanted to be listed there. You can see their product portfolio, their outlets, right? Their shops, outlets in the, you can see uh, different, different places. So this is the thing. So they are expecting this money for the, like uh, expansion purposes, and litigation dispute, dividend tax policy, everything, directors of the company and their qualification, huh? chairman and CEO, right? And then uh, managing director, uh, you can see the Ms. Uh, Ms. Namali Gunwadana, non executive director, Amasri Gunwadana, like that. So all their information are there in the prospectus. So this prospectus, that's why this is the uh, another uh, thing going public is expensive because you have to make this prospectus. It's a legally correct because prospectus prepared by lawyers. So what is the definition of prospectus? It's a document produced by a company that wants the public to buy their shares. It's a document produced by a company that wants the public to buy there. It's like a kind of an invitation. This is an invitation. They're asking, okay, please buy our shares. This is our company. This is the chairman of the company. You can see Mr. Lal Gunwadana, chairman of the company. And then uh, introducing, he's inviting everyone to buy. This is our company. These are the awards we got, right? This is a, like a award, platinum award for the Sri Lankan entrepreneur, uh, uh, achiever in the top 10 awards, uh, CNCI. And then uh, Paris International Star for Leadership in Quality Award 2021. Like that, there are so many, you know, like, a, uh, like professional education, education level, their experience, everything. So this is the, not an easy job, easy task, right? So we had to prepare the prospectus, it's invitation. And number two, prospectus has to be printed and circulated. Here, because of the, it's now online, everything, because they have online copy also, but usually they have printed some certain amount of copies and have distributed to the, investors uh, physically not only that a bank may be paid to process the share applications bank has to pay when her banking partner for processing this share application they have a commission here to pay and company must uh, ensure against the possibility of some shares remaining unsold therefore fee has to be paid to underwriter who must buy and unsold shares underwriter fees underwriting is another good term that you can learn it's a kind of insurance you're obtaining in case this share is gone un unsubscribed. Now they're issuing the 300 million they want to raise. Imagine you collect only 200 million. This insurance underwriting company, they are giving remaining 100 million for you. So they are, they are taking that risk in case of this share shall be gone unsubscribed. 
So, and also they have advertising cost is there. So it's advertising administrative expenses. When you're preparing for public limited, private limited company, you need to prepare this kind of prospectus and booklets and everything. But when you're preparing, a, you know, making a, a PLC, definitely you have to prepare a prospectus like that because that's a part of the uh, flotation process. So like that. So uh, this is a disadvantage. Prospectus has to be prepared, it must be printed. Uh, you have to pay some processing fee for the application handling. Uh, advertisement administrative expenses another thing another discouragement point is plc must have minimum 50000 share capital in uk is in london that this is a london syllabus so you can see uk they need to have 50000 share capital 50000 pounds so general advantage disadvantage of the companies like that large sum of money can be created you can see here 300 million large sum of money right shareholders have a limited liability that means if you are invested let's say if I invest in 1,000 shares for 6,000 rupees, I am only losing only 6,000 in case of business bankrupt. PLC can exploit economies of scale. What is that? They can have bulk purchase, so they can get discounts and all. They are doing business in large scale, may be able to dominate the market. They can be a market leader. Hmm? Shares can be bought and sold very easily hmm? and may have a high profile in the media, high profile in the media. However, disadvantage, as you can see, yeah, high profile because everyone, if you become PLC, right, all these 287 companies, they know all these 287 companies, the listed entities, they know, right, listed company direct, if you go, everything you know, right, for example, someone asking, so do you have uh, like a companies like Maliburn and everything, so Maliburn Biscuit is, I think, private limited company, if you just, we can check from number M, we can see, uh, the company we start with the letter M. Macwood Energy, Madhusima Plantation, Mahaveli Coconut Plantation, Mahaveli, Mahaveli Ridge Hotel, Malwatha Plantation, Mira uh, Marvilla Resorts, Maskelia Plantation, T Estates, Melsta Corp, Mercantile Investment, Mercantile Shipping Company, Merchant Bank of Sri Lanka, Metropolitan Resources, Morrison's PLC, MTD Workers, Multifinance. So Maliban uh, is not there because it's a private limited company still, you know, so there are, that's why everything uh, is a, no, always is a listed company is only visible here. Maliban is not a listed PLC company, it's a private limited company. Like that, you can check even 287 is very small amount. In Sri Lanka, we have more than, if you go to the company registrar, you can see now almost 9,000 private limited companies are registered in Sri Lanka, 9,000, but out of 9,000, only 287. 287 companies only listed in the Colombo Stock Exchange, which means as a fraction, it is only just a 3%, 3% of the uh, companies only listed in the, uh, as they have only, uh, they have get the license to operate in the Colombo Stock Exchange in, as a PLC. So when disadvantage of being a PLC is setting up costs very expensive, set up costs. Outsiders can take the control by buying shares. More financial information has to be made public. Yes, right. For example, if I wanted to go to their financial information, let's say I can just type, for example, let's say I want to say the John Pierce Company, JKH Financial Information. This is one of the biggest companies in Sri Lanka, John Pierce Holding. So I can easily download their financial information. I can go to their financials and I can see all their reports, annual reports, quarterly reports, other reports. So you can see this quarter, you can see I have the interim financial report. Uh, for 30th June, I can download it easily. So anyone can refer from anywhere, right? What is what what happened to this business? How much how much they earn in last three months? Here we go. We can see all the information right here for following three months. The company profit 2021, the percentage change, right? I hope you can understand these figures. You can see the percentage figures. You can find that they have profitability, hmm? uh, profit or loss. What happened last year 2020? This was a loss, loss making, but this time it was 1.2 billion profit, it was increased by 157 percent. Right? You can see they are earning per share, dividend per share 50 cents. They have given a dividend in this quarter, like that. That's how you have to uh, you know, uh, invest. You can, it's another kind of a risky thing. Why everyone can find out their information, quarterly reports, annual reports, right. Everything is accessible. Information is free. Now, information, anyone can even, if I want to check the Apple, 
company internal and financial report i can download it it's very easy right so uh, we can find out any company any plc company information is available to the public that's why i call public limited company the public company so information financial anyone so that means your computers also can go through a financial statement they also can analyze your position and maybe more remote for customers that is not, not like the private companies public limited companies are bigger companies so it's remote for the customer and also more regulatory control is there more regulatory control from the company act so many regulations rules and they are to bound for you and managers may take the control rather than owners so owners are separate managers are separate for example i'll show you one one of the report let's say uh, if you talk about the let's say company uh, like sampath bank sampath bank plc sampath bank plc the 51 percent of the shares owned by mr sri lankan richest person dhammika pedra but you can see the sampath bank annual report you can see it's a banking corporation. So uh, the Sampath Bank actually, the current chairman is a banker. That's why it's remote from the managers are the one who control the business, right? And the, you can see this is the corporate information, board of directors and everything. You can see uh, these are the board of directors of the company. These are all professional people, right? These are all people, so for all professionals of this company, board of directors, right? So uh, you can see Mr. Chairman, Mr. Harish Amarasekar, uh, Nanda Fernando, Managing Director. They are not shareholders. They are just the bankers, right? Senior Independent Director, Mr. Deshal Dimel, right? And you can see the other, Mr. Ms. Anika Senanayaka, Mr. Ranil Patirana, Dilip Vijayarat, right? Aroshi Nanayaka. These are directors of the company. All these are professionally qualified people to become. These are like a managers, non executive directors, independent directors. As you can see chairman, deputy chairman, managing director, all these people are, they are not shareholders. So who are the top, for example, let's say to be a chairman, you usually must have 51% of the stake. But in this case, what happened? Harshama Rasekar, Mr. Harshama Rasekar, only just a uh, chairman, but not, they don't have enough, you know, like you can see if you go to the shareholding percentage, this company, the share, share most of the shares owned by the uh, dummy pair. Right? You can see their quarterly report. We can download the financial statement, the period in six month financial statement, right? Some part bank PLC. If you go to their annual report, the quarterly annual report, you can see top 20 shareholders there. We can visible at the end. You can see the top 20 shareholders of the company. Fair valuation. Segment information, their director's name. Chairman Harsha Amarasekara, no shares, zero shares. Prashant Kasila, zero shares. Deshal Dimel, zero shares. Anika Vijayaratha, zero shares. They don't have, because that's why you, when you want to be a director, right? You don't have, no, you don't need to have any shares with you. That means these are the kind of like a non-executive director, like managers, like, you know, organization. They are the one who are running with their expertise. They are the one who run the business, but they don't have any shares, single shares. Then these people are appointed by the shareholders, right? The main executive chairman is the business, business organization is the Dhammika Pera. You can see top 20 shareholders owned by 14% of the business owned by Valuable One PLC. The Valuable One PLC means it's owned by Dhammika Pera. You can see he's, he's on the Valuable Finance, Valuable, Valuable One PLC. 171 million shares, 14% of the company owned by him. Employee Provident Fund, Ayanka Holdings. Hmm? This thing, if you have more shares in the business organization, you can be a di director, right? Uh, but here, if you if you wish, you can uh, give the management responsibility to a, a professional manager. That's why that's a point I want to mention here. The managers may take the control rather than the owners, right? Rather than the owners. The owner can actually, that's why you can invest their money and you can give the uh, higher proper manager and you can actually uh, do your works like that so you can see now uh, public limited company in my hand that i have given everything so plc similar to the private limited company but much bigger version uh, and minimum capital is fifty thousand, and able to raise capital by selling shares on the stock exchange each and every country has a stock exchange london they call london stock exchange sri lanka colombo stock exchange china beijing stock exchange india mumbai stock exchange like that every country they have stock exchange 
by law uh, must have the word public limited company or plc after the name of the company and these are the advantage of being a plc limited liability shares can be freely bought and sold large amount of capital can be collected high profile in the media and banks and financial institutions are more willing to lend money for these kind of companies company continued existence does not depending on the founders of the business therefore incorporated status is there you can benefit from economies of scale however the we could discuss the disadvantages also the founder owner has a lose uh, can lose control of the company because if shares are readily bought and sold because anyone can acquire company acquisitions happen sampath bank is a kind of a company like that uh, before he bought the amiga vera harry java then bought the sampath bank like that so but that's why this company ownership can go to the one person to another person uh, it's expensive process to compare the private limited company other types of business organization you have to prepare prospectus and everything that's why going public is expensive large organization can become difficult to manage efficiently hmm? uh, and detailed financial account has to be published every year so that means the risk of losing your financial information to the others and more regulatory control to the company acts managers may take control rather than owners right? these are the main advantage and disadvantage of the private limited company flotation we talk about the process of going public going public is very expensive because of the reasons i told you you have to have the prospectus you have to print it then print it then circulate the prospectus right and you have to underwrite your uh, this one so please write down those six point under that uh, blank 1 2 3 4 5 six points are there why going public can be expensive this can be exam pilot area sometimes we can ask analyze two reasons why going public can be expensive like that so please fill up fill this blank and then prospect definition is here the document produced by a company that is giving some kind of invitation to buy for shareholders regulatory control right are there okay let's go to mcqs quickly uh, so you can join with me through the chat line uh, which of the following is not a feature of public limited company not a feature shares can be issued to raise capital shares can be bought and sold stock exchange all owners of the business have a limited liability and the business continues after the death of shareholders okay i can i got the correct answer yes uh yeah correct answer b not a feature shares can be bought sold stock exchange this is a it's a plc is only private limited company you cannot buy and sell shares in the stock exchange so incorrect on is a part b so answer here is part b second question which on which of the following statement best applies to a public limited company statement which best apply to the public limited company it is owned by government that no is wrong it's not owned by government public corporations are owned by government so don't confuse with the word public huh? public corporations public limited mean to public limited is a private sector business public corporation is owned by the government it is owned by shareholders who can sell the shares in stock exchange that's the correct answer hmm? that's the correct answer yes correct answer given by uh, jana very good uh, the main reason third question main reason why owners of a owners of many private limited companies convert into public limited companies is because hmm, why you convert your private company to a public company Yes, I got correct answers. Answer is D. They want to raise additional capital to expand the business. Correct. This time, answer given by Jian again. Very good. Uh, fourth question. One of the main drawback of many public limited companies is that drawback of public limited company. Loss of control. Efficient. Failed shareholders will lose their assets. Unlimited liability. Workers have asked you for it. Okay. Answer is A. This time, answer is given by two students, Jana and Sean. Very good. Both of you are correct. Right. Keep it up. So others also I in, in, invite you to answer like that. Question number five. Which one of the following statement is about most public lim limited companies is true? Owned and controlled by workers. Wrong. Owned by the directors but controlled by shareholders. No. Owned by shareholders, controlled by directors. Okay, here we go. Answer is C. This time, four students gave the correct answer. Very good. Very good. Mohammed. Uh, yes. Uh, Akif correct. Ashan correct. Jana correct. Right. Uh, Sean correct. 
denial correct very good ah folks don't get the correct answer very good so this is a true statement owned by shareholder but controlled by the directors you can see that example is sample bank okay this is a possible questions came from the here so this one you can I'll leave it as a homework question for you do this possible questions uh, and in next session, we'll discuss the possible answers and everything. What are the possible? I have given two possible questions. Uh, analyze question, it should be six marker. Analyze question and the uh, state questions. The state question, you know, you need to have some kind of a, uh, application. Here, the HTL is a, a transport company. Uh, they have a buses and everything. State two advantage of HTL uh, of changing to a public limit company. So you have to have two benefits of changing to PLC and to disadvantage of PLC, uh, publishing in account, right? I want some answers from you. We'll see you on my next session. We'll discuss these things. So today in my lessons, I do everything in PLC, public limited companies. I hope you under understand, you enjoy my lesson. If you have any doubts, you can comment on me. So from that, I'm winding up my session. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Stay safe. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you.